Happy summer, everybody. It's Jeff from Close to Home here with the June block. Um, very excited. We're halfway there. Um, a few things to know is uh, Thursday, July 4th, we will be closed for the holiday. And you should also know that we are taking pre-orders for the New England Shop Hop, the All New England Shop Hop that's coming up in September and October. Those magazines should be in around mid-June and then we will hand those out. But if you want to pre-order, you can go to any close to home store and pre-order. Um, but for now, we're going to move on to our block this month is Union Square. So here we have our block Union Square. This is an old pattern from before the 1900s. It's got a few names too. It four crowns is one of them if you color it differently. Um, the Union Square name comes from Nancy Hall, who is another prominent uh, quilt pattern maker from the 1930s. And we're going to see those familiar favorite half square triangles and flying geese, but we're also going to add that square in a square in a square in the middle. So let's get started. Here are all the pieces we'll be using for the block. In our tourmaline we have a four and seven eighths, uh, two of those four and seven eighths inch squares, and one four and a half inch square. We have in our accent colors, that's my blue, four three by three inch squares and four two and a half by two and a half inch squares and then one big five and a quarter inch square. And then in my background, that's the black that I have, we'll have four three by three inch squares, four two and seven eighth inch squares and one five and a quarter inch squares. Just make sure you label the, these because especially in the background you have a three inch and a two and seven eighths inch. Just those could be very easy to mix up because they're not far off in size. So just make sure you have yourself organized and know which squares that you're using for the steps that are coming up. We're going to start by dividing up our a couple of our squares into some triangles. Start with your two four and seven eighths inch tourmaline squares and you're going to cut those uh, from corner to corner um, and with those two you're going to get four half square triangles. And then you're going to take your five and a quarter inch background background square, my black, and cut from corner to corner on both sides to make four quarter square triangles. Feel free to mark these before you cut. Uh, mark those markings that you can cut on uh, to make sure that you get them nice and precise. We're going to start making our square and a square. Um, but the first thing we want to do is make sure we have the middle points of our triangles as well as our square itself. So you're going to want to fold those, right now, the background quarter square triangles from, um, from corner to corner right around the long edge and then just make a little crease. You can even put a little mark there so that you know the, the midway point. Uh, you're also going to do the same for the square. You're going to fold it in half and then fold it in half the other way. Make a little crease so that you know the center points. We need that crease because we are going to line up the centers right sides together so that we get everything perfect for this square and a square. Now you can sew these quarter square triangles around one at a time pinning your midpoints. Um, you can also do opposite corners because those aren't going to get sewn into each other. So if you do one side and the other at the same time, match the points, sew it, iron toward the triangles or open, and then repeat. You're going to do the same for the other two quarter square triangles, match those midpoints, iron them, and then we will have a square and a square. Now we're going to do the same thing once again to add another square. So you're going to take your tourmaline half square triangles and again you want to find that midpoint on the on the long edge so that you can pin it to the midpoint on the block we just made. And then you're going to pin those together. Again you can do opposite corners at the same time. Sew those down, iron toward the triangles, and then repeat the process until you are left with a square in a square in a square that will measure eight and a half inches. After that we're going to go back to some familiar friends here. We'll start with the half square triangles. These are going to be the four three by three inch background and three by three inch accent squares. It's same as before, same as we've done in a lot of these blocks. You're going to line up, mark from corner to corner on the background and then you're going to do a quarter inch on each side of those that are paired with the accent colors. Then you iron those toward the background or open and we're going to finish with 
eight of these accent background squares here. And the same as in other blocks, we are also going to make some flying geese just in the method we've done before. You're going to start by taking the four two and seven eighths inch background squares and marking a diagonal line corner to corner. You place two of those on opposite corners of your large accent square, the large blue square in my case. And you're going to, with right sides together, you're going to sew a quarter inch on each side. You're going to cut, then you're going to iron those toward the triangles are open, and repeat the process with one more accent square for both of your pieces. So you line up that accent square just as shown. You're going to sew a quarter inch on each side, cut it, and then once you iron these, you are going to end up with four flying geese blocks that measure four and a half inches by two and a half inches. Now we have to prepare some strips uh, from the flying geese and the half square triangle blocks we made. So you're going to take two of the accent background triangles and pair those with the flying, with one flying goose block just as shown here. And you will sew those together until you make four strips that look exa exactly like this. From there, we just have to nine patch everything together. So we have our center, square and a square and a square that we made, the four strips that we just made, and then in the very corners, we're going to add the four two and a half inch accent squares, and we're gonna sew those rows together. Then we sew those columns together, and we are left with our union square block. Thank you so much for joining me. The next block will be out on July 26th. And I hope everybody is having a great summer and we'll see you soon.